97 ZOK or on the other side of the river now from that Embassy Suites uh, hotel project on top of the Rockford Register Star Building. On the phone with us this morning to talk about the return of Louise the Peregrine Falcon with a new boo, by the way, is Kristen Zambo from the Rockford Register Star. Do you guys have, like, falcon attractors up there or something? What's going on? <laughs> no, we don't. Um, they think that it's a really prime location. Um, it's one of the taller buildings downtown. And, like, in the wild, they'll live in cliffs. Okay. So they're really, really high up, but we don't have cliffs around Rockford because, you know, we don't have them. Right. Uh, so it's a really tall building. It overlooks the river. They've got a perfect spot. All the bridges right there, tons of birds. Right. Um, and real important is that there are no other peregrine falcons around. So it's like brand new prime territory. Uh, normally when somebody isolates themselves up high in the middle of nowhere, they've started a cult. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, they kind of had a cult following now. Um, you think? <laughs> people have become just absolutely addicted. And when we took the webcam down last year because it wasn't going to capture a whole heck of a lot after the baby flew off, um, and people went through withdrawal, oh my you gosh. Know, myself included. So here she is, uh, back again, but uh, apparently Gigi and her broke up? Well, we don't know what happened to Gigi. Um, that's the sad thing. Um, it's something where they usually make for life. Unless one of the partners gets killed. I mean, so we don't know if, like, you know, he's diving for a bird and gets hit by a bus. You know, you're a horrible like, storyteller. Like, Kristen, you're a terrible storyteller. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <Sorry. great>. What? <laughs> you got to be watching for the owls and the eagles because they'll eat them, too. And, I mean, that just sucks. I, I, I just found out because of Louise and her <laughs> new boyfriend. What's his name? Lil Cool? It is. Okay. He's got a huge thing yesterday. You know, warning to the listeners, um, we had a local birder in town capture some birdie porn. Oh, geez. So maybe she things are happening them. already? She's totally cool with them. We got pictures of uh, them mating last night. You know, what I didn't know before all of this happened is I didn't know that, that birds ate other birds. Okay, I, just, I didn't know that. Yes. And this type of bird is pretty much exclusively eating other birds. And apparently in order to court Louise... LL Cool J or what it was his name? At Lil, Lil Cool. Lil Cool, sorry. Killed a blue jay. It gave her a blue jay. He's brought her a bunch of blue jays. <gasps> See, this apparently that's like her fave or a delicacy or you know, was totally the way to her heart. Because <laughs> after he brought her a couple of blue jays, bam, he's on her. So now there's there's video out there of Falcon porn. Well there's pictures. Pictures. Have oh. a video camera capture. They were uh, at least hiding from view of the camera. Really? They, <laughs> really? You kidding? You don't. Out of the building. You are making that up. Tell me that. Is that really true? <laughs> We've got a really good um, birder in town who lives across the river and has a prime spot of two of the sides of the building, and they were just outside of camera range and perfectly in range of her view. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she just happened to be going by the window and saw a commotion and, you know, had a camera right there because she's been watching them. You know, not at all bird stalker like all of us. And <laughs> snapped it just in time. Yeah. She said she was very quick because he was too. I guess it's just funny to think of the similarities that humans have with different members of the animal kingdom, you know? Totally. So uh, how long is the gestation period then, assuming that, that uh, Louise is pregnant now? Okay, well, birds work a little bit different. So from last night, it was about a little before 7 um, that they mated. But they can mate multiple times, and she can hold on to his goods, sure. basically. Okay. Um, and then kind of have a better chance of fertilizing the eggs. So from around 7 o'clock last night, kind of counting forward, we should hopefully see the first egg within 18 to 36 hours. Oh, wow! Right, and they lay them, a, you know, a couple days apart. So, and usually they have like three to four, you know, kind of a normal size clutches, like four. And they lay them a few days apart. Wow. So we'll start kind of seeing them come through the chute. Okay. You know, one at a time. Wow. Like, again, back to your storytelling. I mean, are you, are you kidding me? Out of the chute. 
<laughs> All right, so Kristen, then, did you say that whatever he gave to her, she holds on to until it's the best time to fertilize the egg? Right. Kind of, kind of think of it like a tennis ball container. You can put one tennis ball in there and keep it in there, and then any additional tennis balls just back up behind it. Well, see, now that's better than I was thinking, because I was wondering if this is where the expression, she has his manhood in her purse, sort of comes from. <laughs> She posted around with her. <laughs> Louise is a freaking gal. Uh, right? I, well, so webcam is live. It's up. We can watch now, right? It is, yeah. Okay. And actually, she's up there right now rooting around in the uh, nest site. Well, listen, Kristen, uh, thank you so much for giving us our falcon education. It's going to be fun, the rabbit hole we fall in now, watching Louise drop eggs out of her chute, as you said. <laughs> right. Yo, yo, what's up? The Steve Shannon Show on 97ZOK.